for the Make Code Minute today, what I wanted to do was show you a special little trick for printing your serial text from the Circuit Playground Express to this great little scope. This is the Chibi scope. Right now what I'm doing is I'm measuring some of the sensors on this board. So I'm measuring the switch position, I'm measuring the x-axis, I'm measuring the light sensor. I think that's it. But unfortunately it's scrolling by so fast we can't see it. So what I'm going to do is flip the switch here and you'll see it stabilizes that text. So we can now actually read what's going on. So the question is, how do you do this? How do you make that, that work in a serial port? Well, this is actually a really neat function of the way the Chibi scope was designed. When I start this, I'm using this special, what they call verbs. I'm sending the serial write hashtag run. And that puts the display into sort of the free running mode that we saw at first. When I flip my switch, I'm calling this set the switch position to false. And in my forever loop, when that is set to false, it calls this locked sync text function. So you'll notice here again, we have this special verb. And in this case, it's serial write line locks that locks the display. Then I write all of these strings to the screen. Some of them are strings, some of them are writing a full line. And so I have that all formatted nice and neat. And then at the very end of this, I write the line sync and that tells the whole screen to update and it just does this on every loop but it is always locking and syncing which prevents this mess of text going by which I love. So that is a little trick. It was actually written for the Chibi Scope using an Arduino, but we're able to use it right in Make Code because we can send that serial text of those little special hashtag verbs. So that is how you can use the Chibi Scope as a a uh, nice little serial readout for your Circuit Playground Express right inside of Make Code. And that is your Make Code Minute.